Hi all, good evening. My name is Sandeep and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope all of you are doing fine. Today we are going to build one AI powered math tutor, which will solve a lot of interesting mathematics problems for us. So let's get started. So in this project, uh, we are going to build one simple AI application with Python, Streamlit, and Google's Gemini 2.0 Flash model. You know that Gemini 2.0 Flash model? It's a very recent model, uh, which was uh, released sometime in February, uh, last month, uh, by Google. And you know it has an amazing uh, ability for solving complex mathematics problems. So <clears throat> in this project, uh, we are using this Google's Gemini 2.0 Flash model. It's a very simple app. In the app, you just user just needs to you know type the uh, math problem that he or she is going to solve in the text box, and then uh, they just need to click on the solve button. They just need to click on the solve button, and our math tutor will solve the math problem. And it will not only solve the math problem, but it will also break down the problem and show you step by step and explain you uh, step by step how it is solving the math problem. So I have already tested for uh, a few mathematics, uh, complex problems, semi-complex math problems from grade six to grade 10. And it could solve uh, all of them satisfactorily, step by step with the detailed explanations. So for using this uh, Google's Gemini 2.0 flash model, you first need to install uh, this library, Google, hyphen gen AI library using pip, pip install google hyphen gen AI. So once it is installed, then you can go to this uh, link, http um, colon double slash AI dot google dot dev uh, slash Gemini API docs, go to this site uh, and then sign up there and get a free Gemini API key for some limited usage. So it's free, uh, you can get this uh, Gemini API key, uh, key for free and with some limited usage, but that is fine for our current project. And these are the math problems. Uh, I already solved them uh, using our uh, AI based math tutor and it could solve all of them satisfactorily. And I also manually verified uh, the answers, the results, and they are all correct. So now we'll see our app in action. We'll launch it and see it in action. So it's just uh, Streamlit app. So it's just, uh, you have to, for running, uh, launching Streamlit run, and then the name of the Python script, that's it. So it is launched, solving mathematics problems by AI tutor. All you need to do is to type your uh, math problem or question that you are going to solve here in this box and then click on the solve button. So let's uh, solve a couple of the math problems from this list. First one, let's try the first one. And let's see how it performs. So what is this math problem? So it says that two runners they are 48 miles apart. And distance between these two runners is 48 miles. Then they start running towards each other. Towards each other, they start moving or running. At the same, maybe at the same time, they start. And speed of the second runner is uh, just two miles per hour slower than the speed of the first runner. Okay. Then the question is, uh, what is the speed of the first runner if they meet in two hours? So we don't know where they meet on this line. So distance we know, uh, that is the 48 miles. And uh, then we know they will meet in two hours. That also we know. That is also given. And we also know that uh, the speed of the second runner is just two miles per hour slower than the speed of the first runner. And the question is, what is the speed of the first runner if they meet in two hours? So let's see how it solves. So 
okay it has solved very nicely and also explained it broke down the problem and it explained to us step by step let's see what it says solution okay let's break down the problem step by step define variable let's v1 be the speed of the first runner in miles per hour let's v2 be the speed of the second runner in miles per hour and we already know that is given v2 is equal to v1 minus 2 the second runner is 2 uh, mile per hour slower than the first runner so we got first equation v2 equal to v1 minus 2 and let t be the time they run until they meet so we know uh, t uh, minus 2 um, let d be the distance between them and we know that d equal to 48 distance between them is 48 and we know the time time is t is equal to 2 hours that we know now understand the relationship when the runners meet the sum of the distance they have uh, each of the run will equal the total distance uh, between them the distance equals uh, speed multiplied by the time we all know the distance is equal to speed into time so distance covered by the first runner is v1 into t okay so distance covered by the second runner its speed that is v2 into t so therefore uh, the v1 into t plus v2 into t um, is equal to total distance so v1 into t plus v2 into t is equal to total distance it's very clear understandable now substitute and solve substitute the known values and then relationship uh, between the v1 and v2 into the equations so they are substituting and they are solving here the simply uh, they simplify uh, and solve for v1 and then finally from that we are able to uh, find out the value of the v1 that is 13 13 miles per hour and it is correct i also manually solved it and um, verified it it's correct so basically it's solved algebraically which is good actually and it broke down the problem and it showed step by step explain step by step how it is solving the mathematics problem and it is very good you know from the student's perspective and also the teacher's perspective um, uh, the way it has explained it is really uh, nice and um, then we'll try one more problem this time we'll try some statistics or probability uh, problem and let's see how it goes so we'll just copy and paste it here so basically it says uh, throw a dice three times you have a dice which are six pieces and you will throw these dice three times okay what is the probability that we have uh, three six I mean each uh, draw will get one six so because uh, it says that what is the probability that we get all three sixes every every time we will get one six so let's see how it has it has solved this solution okay let's break down the problem step by step define variables sorry uh, we have not yet <laughs> clicked on the solve so let's click on the solve yeah we clicked on the solve button and it has solved solution okay let's break down the probability problem understanding the problem we want to find the probability of rolling a six on a standard uh, six-sided uh, uh, dice three times in a row each dice roll is an independent event as you know that each time you uh, throw a dice that is independent event and uh, next time again you throw a dice and three times you uh, throw a dice so each uh, event is independent they are independent to each other there are no dependencies between them so the probability of one six if you throw it once probability of getting six on a single throw uh, of a fair of six sided dice is one by six naturally because there is only one six in a dice and six faces six sides so one by six and the probability of the three sixes in a row since the roles are independent all these uh, dice roles are independent so we multiply the probability of the each individual event um, together so we have the probability of the each individual event that is 1 by 6 so we have to just multiply 1 by 6 into 1 by 6 into 1 by 6 the probability of a 6 on the first roll into probability of the uh, of getting 6 on the second roll probability of getting 6 on the third roll so 1 by 6 into 1 by 6 is 1 by 216 so this is correct this answer is 
So it has not only solved uh, these math problems correctly, but it has also explained it very nicely, step by step, which is really amazing. So you, uh, you can try even more complex problems. So I tried um, uh, at least five, six uh, mathematics problems uh, from the grade six to grade 10, and it could solve all of them satisfactorily. These are the problems. So you can try even more complex problems and see how it performs. So now I will explain you the code, Python code. So let's go to Spider and go through the walk through the code. So as you know, the first step is the you have to import this JNAI uh, library that is very important, which you already you installed using pip, and then second from the .env uh, import load dot, uh, load dot .env. This is for the loading environment variables. Then import OS operating system, then streamlit, import streamlit library ST, then load underscore uh, dot env uh, for loading all the environment variables. That includes the, uh, you know, the Gemini API key also. Yeah. That is also part of the environment variables. Then we just write a one simple function that is called the solve underscore math. And we pass the question, mathematics question or the problem that we are going to solve, okay? And then here uh, we are passing this, uh, we are getting this Gemini API key from the uh, environment variable, os.getenv, and then we are passing it here as API key, uh, client. Client equal to gni.client, then we are passing the API key. And then the response is equal to client.models.generate content. Client.models.generate content, and then you have to pass this uh, model name. Our model name is Gemini 2.0 flash. And then in the content, you have to give the prompt. In a very simple language, you can write the prompt. You are a mathematics expert. Please solve this mathematics problem and give me the correct answer. And then this at this question or the mathematics problem that you are going to solve here. So that's it. You are, a you are a mathematics expert. Please solve this mathematics problem and give me the correct answer. That's it. Very simple. And then after getting the response, you have to just uh, get the text from there, a response.txt, and then return this value. And then here we have the front end code, um, streamlit, written in the streamlit, define main. Here, um, the name of the app, basically, solving mathematics problem by AI tutor. And then, you know that I created one uh, nice logo for this, and then um, I added that logo. Then here, uh, basically, you are uh, giving your inputs. That is a math problem or question that you are going to solve. In the text box, you are uh, putting the inputs math problem and storing it in the math problem. And then um, we are adding one button called solve. As soon as a user will click on the button, then uh, this uh, it will call that function solve underscore math, pass this uh, math problem or question. And then finally, we'll get the result. That's it. It's just uh, 60 lines of code, 60, 65. But you, as you can see, you can build and amazing applications with this Google's uh, Gemini 2.0 Flash. Uh, it has really an amazing ability for solving math problems. So you can try more complex mathematics problems uh, and explore it more. It's really amazing. So that is all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you like it, please give a thumbs up. And also, please write your comments or feedback in the comment sections. I'll be very happy to see them. And also, please subscribe my channel if not done yet. I'm going to create more and more um, interesting videos uh, on various topics and applications in the coming days. Uh, so please uh, do subscribe my channel. Please also uh, like uh, share my video with others. Also, they may be benefited. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.